everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do for you, because you've been asking, uh, my three months update on using Retin-A. I'm not going to go into what Retin-A is. It can be called Retin-A or Tretinoy. It's uh, sold by all sorts of different companies. I have bought mine on eBay and I know it's not always safe to do it on eBay, but I talked to the seller and I felt confident enough to buy it. Uh, first of all, I bought um, a Tretinoy gel because they come in gel form and in cream form. I have heard that the cream is probably better, it's a bit gentler um, than the gel, and if you, especially if you have sensitive skin. So they come in three strengths, uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.05% and 0.1%. The first one being the weakest, the last one being the strongest. You're supposed to start with the weakest one. I started in the middle because I am not a patient person. Uh, so Retin-A, it's basically vitamin A and it's responsible for production of collagen, smoothing your face, getting rid of uh, sunspots and all that stuff. Uh, apparently the sooner you start using it, the better. You can start using it in your 20s, um, but it's never too late to start it. Uh, most important thing is you have to do it slowly. I've done it long time ago. Uh, when I went for it, I smothered my face in it every day and I peeled like a snake. And of course I gave up then because I hated it. Uh, so then I watched a bit more videos and I know for a fact that it works. I've seen the results on other people here on YouTube. It is just very slow process <clears throat> and something that you have to commit to for life. It's not something that you just do, you know, for a month here, a month there. You just have to build it into your daily routine. You need to start slowly and build your skin's resistance to it. Uh, so I started with once a week. I started on Monday and I started on the 4th of January. And for four weeks, I, on, I did it, sorry, for five weeks, I did it once a week. And at first, I started with the gel and then I bought the cream, but it doesn't matter really which one you use. Um, I started uh, with once a week on Mondays and by each Wednesday I would start seeing a, a bit of peeling. Not too much, but still enough that, um, you know, it became difficult to apply foundation. You apply foundation the best way to do it then is with a sponge i would say any beauty sponge because if you use brush and you know motion like that the skin is peeling so that's not too nice <clears throat> and then after five weeks um i've noticed that i wasn't peeling anymore so i started using it twice a week uh, i would use it on monday and on thursday so for on the sixth week, I started using it Monday and Thursday, and I've been doing that for four weeks now. So all that is 12 weeks or so. How you're supposed to use it is to cleanse your face and you only use it at night. Don't ever use it in the morning. Um, vitamin A gets broken down by, uh, sun, by sun rays, so don't ever use it in the morning and also very very important not just when you use retin-a but especially if you use retin-a use sunscreen every day in the morning so you're supposed to cleanse your face wait half an hour for your face to completely dry and then you apply pea size don't think that you use it like a face cream that you have to cover every inch of your face you take a pea size I do it like this, put it on each cheek, on my forehead and on my chin. And I always go down here, but because I've got here um, a bit of melasma actually, like real discoloration. And I just gently pat it in. Then you're supposed to leave it for another 20 minutes before you use your skincare. Now, I don't think I've ever waited once half an hour to apply it. I just wash my face, pat it dry. When I feel it's dry enough, I apply it. They say E you get more irritation if the skin is not completely dry, but I never got any irritation or extra peeling. So um, now when I'm using it, I get once a week, I see a bit of peeling, but now not so much. So I'm thinking even to up it to three times a week. Your goal is to start using it every day. 
um, and then if you can tolerate that you can go up in a strength as well but you don't have to apparently it's not about the strength it's just about being consistent with it and using it all the time yes if you use uh, the lower percentage of it your peeling will be slower and the results will be a bit slower but you will get there okay so let me tell you first of all the side effects apart from the peeling which i hate um, your skin gets drier when i was much younger i had normal to dry skin uh, my skin was quite normal, but I used to get a bit dry on my cheeks. When I got older, I got quite oily T-zone. And now since I've been using uh, the Retin-A, my skin's gone quite dry. I don't ever get t oily T-zone. I never ever have to touch up throughout the day, which is amazing because on one hand it is good, but on the other, you know, mature skin, when it's dry, it doesn't look so good. So. I would say that when you first start using it, your skin probably looks a bit worse, a bit dry. You have to use, you know, extra um, rich moisturizers. I even add a bit of jojoba oil to my moisturizer now. Um, so your skin gets drier, you get the peeling and you can get some breakouts as well when you first start doing it. Um, I don't see any difference yet. It's been only three months and I think you start seeing difference after six to nine months of use. After a year you should see uh, quite a significant difference. It is commitment for life and to summarize it all, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like the peeling. I don't like that my skin is so dry. I don't like to wait. I don't have, a pa I don't have any patience. I want it now. So to be honest, if money was no option, I probably would go and have the Fraxel um, laser treatment like Angie the Hot and Flashy just had because it's just one week downtime and your skin looks amazing. It basically does what the Retin-A does but in a week, you know. Uh, it is quite pricey though. I might also try, I've just bought Dermarola. I am scared because it looks so medieval, like a torture instrument. But I've watched a lot of videos, I've read a lot about, about it. And it is very much the results you get is like with the laser. But obviously you don't get the peeling like with the laser and you don't get um, the downtime. So I, I will start using it when I you know, work up the courage and I will do a video about that. So, like I said, it is commitment for life. Uh, like Angie said, which made me laugh, uh, think of Retin-A as long time partner, not as a one night stand. So once you start using it, if you want to see the result, you have to stick for, with it for the rest of your life. But I know that it works. So if you are patient enough, if you can stand it, go for it. It is definitely, definitely, brilliant product and probably the cheapest out there you can go to your gp and i'm sure uh, that they will prescribe it for you so what i will do i will probably come back in another three months and give you an update then and see if i can see any changes if i'm still using it because it's driving me crazy um i mean it, it is not that awful i just don't like it but I'm going to stick with it because obviously, like most of us, I want to stay looking, you know, young as long as possible. Um, so a girl has to do what a girl has to do. Okay then, my lovelies, thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.